Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm going to be sharing the new Kelly Perky uh, August releases. These released today, which is August 28th, 2018. I'm going to be sharing the Traveler's Notebook and the new stamp sets that are releasing today. And hopefully next week when I work in my project life, I will share the main kit and there's a little mini kit that's releasing also. But anyways, let's start because I have a lot to share with you. And of course, if you don't want to see the unboxing and want to jump to the process video, I will link um, at what point you can uh, do that and watch just the process. Now this kit, the Traveler's Notebook kit, is called No Bad Vibes. I'm going to grab a little sheet of paper. And it's so adorable. It's one of the small ones. It has just be yourself, self-care, no good, no bad vibes, only good ones around here. Really like the little um, phrases on here. I'm going to be using this kit today and I'm going to share with you how you can use this beautiful stamp set. Then you get some label stickers, as always. Some really cute stickers that go with the theme of the kit. You have my self-care routine, step one, one day at a time, little happy face, sad face, and then the papers. I love these sheets where you can cut out the strips. Ooh, and I love that rainbow paper. It's really pretty. And those are the papers that come with the Traveler's Notebook Kit, which I will be using today. Um, anyways, I want to share the stamp sets with you. Let me grab those real quick. So let's start with the stamps. The first one is called Maker. Now this one was designed by Tina from uh, Life Love Paper. Now there's paint brushes, there's watercolors, there's those little, um, what are they even called? I don't even know, I, I guess they're for quilting and things like that. Um, you have some yarn, love it. You have painting, stamping, knitting, sewing, I think that's drawing, weaving, and scrapbooking. Perfect. Those most of them work for me. I don't do knitting and all that good stuff, but I'd rather be Drawing or scrapbooking so you can kind of build it as you please really love the stamp set really cute I already have an idea for the stamp set My daughter is a drawer and I wanted to document that she had drawn something really cute And I wanted to document it the next one is at the vineyard and it's all about the love of wine. So if you are a wine lover, this is definitely the stamp for you. It's wine o'clock at the vineyard. You keep getting better with age. Wine tasting, so, so cute. I love that. And then you have your little um, buildable wine bottle, wine glass, a cork. Is that a cork? I think so. Oh, no, that's the wine. Um, that It's a buildable wine glass, so you can fill up your glass with a different color. Then it has name, bottle, price, from, and vintage. Really, really cute. I'm not a wine drinker, but I'm sure wine drinkers would love that stamp set. It's really adorable. This one is one of my favorites. It's called Today Is. And it's these circles that you can build. You can add your day. You can add week number, today, right now, date, and then add these little days of the week right in the center of your circles. You have a few hearts and a star, and this helps you kind of stamp the center of your circles. And each circle has something different. So you have um, today is Thursday, today is so Monday, on and so forth. Today is a good day, and then here it says today is a tough day. So you can definitely build your own circle, love them. I'm sure these are all separate and you can stamp the center of your circle with the little mini circle, I guess. 
so in love with the stamp set. But anyway, that is one of my faves from this month's release. I can't wait to use that. So, so pretty. Last but not least, we have the Alpha Stamp. It's called Roosevelt. Love it. The Alpha Stamps are always one of my favorites. Always. And I love this one as much as the rest. It is so cute and so beautiful. And I'm so excited to use this one. It's just so gorgeous. Um, and the simplicity of the font. Love it. I guess it's a typewriter font. I'm really bad with fonts, but I'm guessing. Anyways, those are the stamp sets that are releasing today and the Traveler's Notebook Kit. And I will add all the links for you down below. And I'm going to start working in my Traveler's Notebook using the Traveler's Notebook Kit. So if you want to see the process, keep watching. Okay, you guys, let's start working in my Traveler's Notebook. Now, I decided to use this huge picture of myself because I'm going to do notes to self. Now, if you've been on my channel for a while, you know I like to do this type of spread every once in a while. I like to write notes for myself to remind myself that I'm good enough. And looking through this um, kit just really inspired me to do that again. And um, I have this, it was a four by six photo, I believe, and I just cut around myself to make it fit into my traveler's notebook or to fit with this theme, I guess. Anyways, I decided on these two pattern papers. I just trimmed them down. I'm not gonna stick them into my notebook yet just because I knew I was gonna do a lot of stamping and my notebook is pretty uh, thick and big right now. So I wanted to make sure that my stamping turns out perfect. I'm cutting around these little arrows at the bottom of the pattern paper and I'm going to cut around the M so I can slide my photo. Now I don't know if I like the idea of cutting around my story, but I guess I'm just going to go with it. Um, I don't know, it kind of chopped off my hair and my hair kind of looked odd, but um, I'm just going to go with it. I went ahead and stuck down my photo. And then I want to stamp on the opposite side of my spread. Now, because my um, title is going to end up saying my story and it's pretty bold, I thought I could use the alpha stamps that released today to stamp out today. So it's going to say my story today. And that way I can bring in my title to the other page and the boldness of my title. So if that makes any sense. I will type out my notes to self and I just typed out things like focus on the good, keep being brave, your current situation is not your final destination. I really kind of think about what I'm typing and what I'm writing. Just it's really going to end up something that I look through and motivate myself. Now that I have my notes to self all typed out, I'm just gonna trim everything down and try to add them in this box. I want this to look messy. I'm not trying to fit them all perfectly in the box. Some of them are gonna come out of the box. Some are gonna be centered. I'm just going with it. I really like the look of it being messy. gonna go ahead and grab the stamp set that came with the kit now there's a little stamp it's like a half a circle and it says keep your face in the Sun just work perfect with my notes to self so I felt like I can add it to the bottom of my notes and I'm also gonna stamp out just be yourself as like my subtitle um, when I stamped that keep your face in the Sun there was a lot of empty space right under it because it's kind of like a half a circle and I'm going to tell you, I was so happy that one of the stickers from the sticker sheets it was like a half a circle sun and it fit perfectly right under my stamp. I love it when things like that happen, when you don't plan on it and it just works perfectly. I love that. As you can see, I will trim it down a little bit just because it was too big, but I love how that turned out. Anyways, there's another stamp that says, and cue the applause. I wanted to use that next to my photo, but I didn't know how to make it fit. So I decided to kind of curve it. I'll fiddle with it a little bit where it fits nicely around my shoulder. 
I stamp it, I go for it, and it worked out perfectly. That's another example of things working out without planning it all out. I love that. I'm not really liking how my hair looks kind of pointy at the bottom, so I just grabbed my scissors and trimmed that off a little bit. It doesn't look great, but it looks better than before, so I'm just gonna leave it. I'm, I'm, I keep looking at my picture and it's bothering me a little bit, but I'm good. Anyways, I'm gonna use the Today Is stamp set, and these are little buildable circles. These also released today, and I'm using some black ink, a lot of my Kelly Perky inks. I think I end up using like two shades of pink when I stamp out Today Is A Good Day, and then I stamp right now, right in the center. I was just trying out a few of my inks to make sure they match with my spread. I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut around the circle. Of course, I could have used a circle punch, but none of my circle punches are uh, big enough for this circle. I'm gonna stick that down, and I'm also gonna stick down my pages inside my notebook. And then I'm gonna grab my crystal drops. I end up adding a few drops here and there, and then I call my layout done. Don't forget, today is release day at the Kelly Perky shop. Uh, today is August 2018. So if you wanna grab any of these uh, kits or stamps that I shared with you, I will add all the links down below for you in the description box. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.